Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to disable and prevent screenshot in your Flutter application for both Android and iOS. For the iOS, we will go to device, toggle screenshot, and you can see that whenever we take a screenshot, it will appear black, only black, nothing from the screen. So I will delete the screenshot. And now if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. And now let's get started. All right, now before we get started, we need to add Flutter window manager in our pubspec.yml. So go to pubdev and copy Flutter window manager from there and paste it in pubspec.yml. And make sure to run Flutter pubget to install the library. All right, now what we need to do, we're gonna import dart.io because we will use the platform and we will import Flutter window manager and we will make the main async and after running the app, just write widget binding dot instance dot add post frame callback timestamp async and inside it we're gonna have a check on the platform if it's Android we're gonna write flutter window manager dot add flags we will add this flag flutter window manager dot flag secure and that's it that's all what we need to do for Android to make this work. However, for iOS, this library doesn't support iOS, so we're gonna do that in the native side. All right, now for iOS, we're gonna expand iOS, expand runner, go to appdelegate.swift, and inside this method, override func application, inside it, just add self.window.secureapp. Now, this is a method, I called it secured app, you can call it whatever you want, and down below, add a UI window extension, and inside it create this function secure app now inside this function we're gonna let field equal to ui text field then field dot is secure text entry to true then self dot add sub view this field and after it we're gonna say field dot center y anchor dot constraint which is equal to self dot y anchor dot is active equal to true and we're gonna do the same for the x anchor and then self dot layer dot super layer dot add sub layer field dot layer and after it field dot layer dot sub layers dot first dot add sub layer self dot layer and that's it that's all what we have to do for the ios part just make sure whenever you paste this function you add this self dot window dot secure app because if you forget this it won't work if you comment it or something it definitely won't work now let's run the app so let's type flutter run and wait for it a bit to run the app all right now the app is running let's click on this button then go to device trigger screenshot and you can see that our screenshot is black nothing appears from the app and that was all thank you guys for watching if you like the video make sure to like it comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.